Welcome to this instructional video for the Dave Smith Instruments Profit 12 Editor from SoundTower. In this video, we'll check out all the librarian features. Keeping track of new sounds you create, reordering factory or user sounds, and other similar tasks can be quite a challenge. We've got you covered. SoundTower has developed a unique way to manage all your librarian duties. So under the Bank tab, click Librarian. Let's take a quick look at the environment. First, you'll notice that the librarian opens in a new window and that the menus change. On the left side, we see a listing of all the patches that are currently available in the Profit 12. Clicking any of the tabs at the top will reveal the selected user or factory bank. If for any reason you wish to confirm that the librarian is showing the correct list of patches that is currently in the Profit 12, click the Receive tab and you will have the option to download the currently selected bank from the Profit 12. Just click Start to begin the download from the synth. Here you also have the opportunity to save the current bank to your computer or to load a bank that you have previously saved. As with all computer files, it's always a good habit to save your files often. Develop your own system of identifying and saving your work. You may wish to save all the user and factory banks to your computer before you begin any editing. Let's run through a quick view of this. First, let's receive all the current patches on the Profit 12 User Bank 1 to confirm. Next, let's save that bank to the computer. Next, let's make a simple change to one patch. Let's rename Please Use. Just double click the name. Here you can both change the name and select a different category for the program. Let's transmit this edited bank to the Profit 12. You can check the name on the Profit 12 to confirm this change, but we'll simply receive the bank back from the Profit 12 and take a look. And there it is, the edited Please Use Controls. Now, let's load the original unedited version of User Bank 1. Click Load, select the file, and either double click or click Open. You'll see the unedited Please Use Controls is now present in the list. Please note, this has not been sent to the Profit 12. This list is now just in the editor. To commit this bank to the Profit 12, you must again click Transmit. You should now be able to confirm with the Profit 12 that the original Please Use Controls and other original patches of User Bank 1 have been committed to the Profit 12. There's one other principle to cover here. We touched on this before, but this becomes even more important with the librarian. With the options selected as they are currently shown, if you select any of the patches in the list and observe the Profit 12 screen, you will notice that the patch number and the bank ID also reflect the selection. If you click on the Use Bank Data checkbox, now when you select a patch in the librarian list, the patch is sent over to the Profit 12, but the program number does not change because the program data is being sent to a buffer. If you play the Profit 12, the patch you send will play but it hasn't been committed to the Profit 12. However, any name change you make in the librarian window and confirm will be committed to the Profit 12 right away. If you wish to make a name change, double click the name in the left column, change the name, select the category, and click OK. At any time, if you wish to do any further editing on the currently selected program, just click the Edit tab and you will be immediately returned to the Profit 12 editor. Again, if you wish to commit your edits to the Profit 12, select Write Program under the Edit menu. The large open space on the right is where you can organize individual or groups of patches from the various banks to collect and reorder. You can select programs from the left column and slide them over simply by clicking the top arrow key here. When multiple programs are selected, you have the option to have the programs collected in a single file with the individual categories removed and changed to unassigned. Or you can have them separated into their individual categories. You can select single patches and move them. 
You can select multiple patches by shift clicking. You can select non-contiguous patches by command clicking on the Mac and control clicking on the PC. You can select patches from any available bank and combine them into a single bank on the right. Once you have moved a collection of programs to the right side of the librarian, you have a few options. You can select some or all and move them back into any bank on the left side. Great for simply reordering programs. The process would be the same. Highlight the patch or patches. Select a location on the left where you want the transfer to begin. Click the bottom arrow key and confirm. When transferring back to the left column, you have the option to write and replace programs. Clicking OK will both replace the programs in the list and commit the programs to the Profit 12. Clicking No will only replace the names in the list. Clicking Cancel will abort the transfer. And that's it. As long as the Auto Dump checkbox is checked, any name you click on either side of the librarian will be transferred to the Profit 12 buffer for review and further editing. You can use the list of categories in the center column to change the category of the programs you send over from the left side to the right. Just click on the name before you transfer the patches from the left to right side. You also have some options to save a collection of programs to your hard drive from either side of the librarian. Similarly, you can also open up a set of previously saved patches to the librarian. Import will open a dialog box to allow you to import something like a Profit 12 SysX file. New allows you to start with a new blank space. You will be given the option to save the current collection before deleting and creating that new blank space. We hope this has given you some useful tips and ideas for using this powerful librarian built into the SoundTower Profit 12 editor. Start creating and saving your favorite original programs today. It's so easy.